This is Barry Zalma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zalma on Insurance. Today we talk about uninsured motorist coverage and why policy conditions remain when the named insured is added and why adding a named insured does not change the policy's refusal of UM coverage. Reject UM coverage, and you lose your right to benefits if you're injured by an uninsured motorist. Progressive Select Insurance Company appealed the summary final judgment rendered in favor of its insured Cindy Dunkel, nay Browning, in her declaratory judgment action concerning whether she was entitled to uninsured motorist coverage. Progressive argued that the trial court erred in concluding that Progressive was required to offer Cindy uninsured motorist coverage and obtain her written rejection of such coverage at the time she was added to her new husband's existing policy, and that its failure to do so resulted in coverage for Cindy. In Progressive Select v. Cindy Dunkel, the Florida Court of Appeals on September 20, 2024, explained the right to UM coverage. In June of 2011, Kenneth Dunkel, a single man, applied to Progressive for insurance coverage for his vehicle. Cindy Browning was listed on the application as a rated driver because she lived at the same address. As a rated driver, Cindy had rights to the bodily injury benefits under the policy, but Kenneth subsequently signed the Florida Uninsured Motorist Coverage Selection Rejection Form, choosing to reject all uninsured motorist coverage. Later, Kenneth changed his marital status on the policy to married and added Cindy to his policy as a named insured. A revised renewal declarations page was issued shortly thereafter to reflect the changes. It showed both Kenneth and Cindy as named insured and that the UM coverage had been rejected. Although Cindy could have re requested a change in coverage, once she became the named insured, she did not. Cindy was involved in a motor vehicle accident with an uninsured motorist. She gave progressive timely notice of the accident and sought to recover under the U.M. portion of the policy, which was, of course, rejected. She sued, and progressive raised the affirmative defense that a valid and enforceable rejection of U.M. coverage was in effect at the time of the accident, and thus Cindy was not entitled to U.M. coverage under the policy. The trial court denied Progressive's amended motion for summary judgment and granted Cindy's motion for summary judgment, reasoning that a new contract was created when Cindy's status changed to named insured from just driver, and thus Progressive was required to send her the U.M. selection rejection form. Progressive argued that, one, under the applicable Florida statutes, Kenneth's rejection of the U.M. coverage was binding on all insureds and persons making a claim under the policy, and two, there was no change in the policy since its inception that would trigger the statutory requirement that the named insureds be sent a new U.M. selection rejection form. Section 627.727 Florida Statutes requires all vehicle insurance policies that provide bodily injury liability coverage to also include U.M. coverage unless U.M. coverage is rejected by the named insured. The evidence reflected that Progressive provided Kenneth with the approved U.M. selection rejection form in 2011. Kenneth was the sole named insured on the policy at that time, and his written rejection of U.M. coverage gave rise to a conclusive presumption that Kenneth made an informed knowing acceptance of such limitations on behalf of all insureds. Under Section 627.727, Pren 9, close Pren, Kenneth's initial rejection of U.M. coverage applied, quote, to any policy which renewed, extended, changed, superseded, or replaced 
the original. Progressive established there that Kenneth never dropped off the policy. He remained as a named insured throughout the life of the policy. The amendment of the policy to add Cindy as a named insured did not result in her being the sole named insured. Progressive asserted there was no change in the policy since its inception that would trigger the statutory requirement that the named insured be sent a new UM selection rejection form, and because Cindy's becoming a named insured on the existing policy did not render the policy a new one, Progressive was not required to provide Cindy with a new UM selection rejection form when she joined Kenneth as the named insured category instead of just a driver. Therefore, the trial court erred in entering summary judgment in favor of coverage, and that judgment was reversed. In my opinion, UM coverage places a person's insurer in the position as the insurer of an uninsured motorist. Selection or rejection of UM coverage is controlled by statute. The statute allows an insured to reject UM coverage, and the rejection follows every renewal of the policy without a need for a new rejection, even when a new named insured is added to the policy. And since neither Cindy nor her spouse changed the rejection of the UM coverage, there was no coverage for the injuries Cindy received from contact with the uninsured motorist. This video was adapted from my blog, Zalma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zalma.com slash blog. You can subscribe to the blog and you'll receive notice of every blog posting, usually five or six a week. And you'll gain access to the more than 4,800 blog postings. You can also subscribe to these videos on rumble.com or youtube.com. They're free. And if you do, you will have access to all of the videos. You can also please tell your friends and colleagues about the blog and the video so they too can subscribe. And if you're interested in further detail about insurance, insurance claims, insurance fraud, and insurance law, please consider subscribing for a very small fee to my Substack publication. Thank you for your attention.